you can now make hyper-realistic advertisements using AI. I'm not even real, this is AI. If you're not using all these tools to your advantage while advertising, you are going to get left in the dust. Using AI to create UGC style content, photo shoots, and cinematic shots of your product are now easier than ever. And you'll probably be saving a good amount of time and money. Whether you're drop shipping, own an e-commerce brand, or you just work in marketing, you need to watch this video. I'm gonna cover it step by step, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna be using is Nano Banana. It's by Google. It's super easy to use, and it's a great image generator. So what we're gonna be doing here is basically creating an AI version of what we actually need, whether it's the product, someone holding the product, a UGC creator, allowing us to prompt the next AI to generate a video for us. So I'm gonna upload two files here. One's gonna be the example product, so Beast Bites, like creatine gummies. And the next file that I'm gonna upload is gonna be a pretty decent photo of me in Hawaii. I'm gonna be used as a UGC model here. All right, so now what I wanna do is have me or the UGC creator or whoever you want to be holding that product and we're gonna use that to prompt the video generator. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go on ChatGPT to actually prompt the image generation prompt by using AI, which is kind of crazy, but it's the best way to do it. So I'm gonna say, write me a prompt for a really good image generation and the inputs I submit for reference are a product photo, creating gummies called Beast Bites, and also a selfie of me. I want the image generation prompt to make me jacked and around 250 pounds in the gym shirtless holding the creatine gummies container. I want the prompt to ensure everything is the same in the most realistic version of myself, including hair, eyes, etc. but just ripped. So now I'm just gonna upload the files that I was referencing. So we're gonna upload this one, and then we're gonna upload our product photo. Then we're just gonna submit and see what kind of prompt that it's gonna give us to reprompt another AI. All right, so now it's creating the prompt, create a hyper-realistic blah, 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 right? So it's basically just defining what I said, but in like AI terms. And now what we're gonna do is go back onto Nano Banano and we're gonna plug in our two prompt images. So we've got our Beast Bites, your product, and a picture of me. And now we're gonna paste in that prompt and then we're just gonna submit and generate it. All right, so now I generated this version of me holding the Beast Bites that looks honestly, pretty similar to how I look. So anyway, they took the hair. It's kind of similar. It's a little bit shorter than mine, but looks pretty much the same. And now I'll create this AI version of me or a UGC creator that you can use to prompt the next step. Now you obviously don't have to use yourself. You can use other people. You can just make up a prompt, say like blonde girl in her twenties or whatever it may be. And it's gonna generate something like this. So what we wanna do now is actually download this file. So now what we're gonna do is actually go back onto chat and write another prompt, but for video generation. All right, so here's the prompt that we got. Uh, they basically spit it out. All right, let's copy it. I'm not even like editing these at all. I'm like just wanting to see what it can create and like one to two clicks. Now what we're gonna do is go into flow. So we're gonna be using VO 3.1. And I know maybe some people are gonna be like, you should be using Sora 2, it looks more realistic, blah, blah, blah. Sora 2 has a lot of limitations. You can't like use people's images, you can't use faces. So it's just not as good in that way. So I'm gonna be using flow, but you can also try out Sora if you want to. And now what we wanna do to prompt this for the video generation is gonna be going into frames to video. You could do ingredients and have like your product photo and the image that you just generated and stuff like that, but you can't do it in nine by 16 at the moment. So if you're wanting to run a vertical ad, frames to video is the best. And then if you want to run a horizontal ad or you just need some content for your website or something like that, then ingredients to video is also really good. So we're gonna do frames to video and we're gonna paste this prompt. And what we're gonna do now is include our frame. So we're gonna upload the image that we just downloaded and we're gonna crop it into portrait. You might have to like manipulate this a little bit because you don't wanna cut them off, but like, they kind of know what's going on. So we're gonna crop it and save. So now we've got the prompt and we've got the image that we're gonna be referencing. So now we're just gonna hit submit and see what VO3.1 quality version is gonna come up with. All right, so while this is generating, I don't know if you can see this, but the brand is crushing right now. So if you wanna watch my latest case study video, breaking down everything for you guys of what ads are running, what product, all that stuff, it's on my channel. So make sure to check that out. All right, so now we've got our generated output. Let's take a look at it. It's good, but the only problem is the text. So what I'd actually do now is go back into this prompt and remove Beast Bites failure performance. I'd add that text as an overlay after. Um, just use cap cut or something like that. AI is just notoriously bad at generating text. Fuel your performance. Like that's just so close. The AI generated video is good. It looks good. 
the quality is good. Maybe it's not as hyper realistic as Sora, but it allows you to input things like shirtless where Sora would flag you. And now you've got a piece of content to post. And that doesn't mean that you have to like post this as the ad. You can create scenes. You can go into scene builder and you can lay out a whole map of what you're wanting to do. So like that would be the first scene. And the second scene would be something different, like maybe do like lifting at the gym or whatever, right? You'd basically just go into chat GBT and ask it for, hey, I'm going to use VO3 and I want to make a 30 second ad. Break it up by five second scenes to generate this kind of ad it's all cinematic no talking we can do a voiceover later now instead of talking about it, let's just actually do it now break it up by five different scenes in five seconds each very cinematic and no text needed on the screen now i can edit it all together and create a 25 second video ad and it's going to give me the prompts so what you do is now take this as the first scene now we go back onto flow and submit the new prompt for that one scene hopefully it generates correctly and then we'll download it and edit it together all right so now it generated it so let's just see what we got going on there we go that's the first scene then we just move on to the next one and we're just going to download them and then put them all together essentially in CapCut and put some overlays and some sound or a voiceover. And then all I would do is just every time I generate a scene or a product shot or something like that, I would just download all of them, save them in some file on Google Drive or on your computer. And now you've just got a reference of all of these like videos that look good that you can mix into other videos. Maybe there's some real videos that you wanna throw in if you're building up a brand or something like that. And you need like a certain shot that a creator you work with or yourself didn't get it and you want it to look really nice that can just be thrown in your TikTok video or whatever kind of ad or content that you're making there's so many different ways to take this i was experimenting with this one so i basically inputted a hydro flask and just prompted this i didn't even like create the girl on nano banana first i kind of just told uh flow what to create and this is what it came up with yeah it looks a little bit ai generated but honestly most people won't really tell and if they do they're going to comment on your videos and your ads and say this is ai this is ai and guess what facebook's going to do wherever you're advertising it's going to give you better cpms and better clicks because people are commenting and the engagement is high or you can just use it strictly like for product shots it's like that looks real it looks like high quality professional videography done so you don't have to use it for ugc or anything like that it's just a, such a powerful tool where you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get a photographer out you can just generate it in minutes so you can really create whatever style you want whatever kind of video that you want whatever image that you need ai is getting better and better and if you need an ai built website to start selling the product that you're thinking about i partnered with shopify to be able to make this happen it's completely free it takes five minutes and it's on the exact same theme that i'm currently using on this store and we're at 1.7 approaching two million dollars in sales and we just started scaling up by the way this entire store is documented on my youtube channel so you should definitely check those out but yeah if you want to get access to that free ai i'll drop the link for this down below in the description. I hope this gave you guys a good overview of how to use AI with AI to generate AI to generate more AI. So that way you can create ad creatives, whether they're image or video in just minutes without spending a ton of money on photographers or videographers. All right. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep updating on this kind of stuff because it's honestly just going crazy. Every release of a new AI software, they just keep getting better and better. But if you like these kind of videos and you like e-commerce and drop shipping and all that stuff and online business, make sure check out my channel and also let me know if you have any questions in the comment down below leave a like subscribe i'll see you guys next time